Yes, my name is Gail McLaughlin. I'm mayor of the city of Richmond. Gail, your reaction, the government of Ecuador is with the people here of Richmond. You say you're thrilled. Very happy. I am just thrilled. I mean, to see this front page, this full page ad in the various newspapers, Contra Costa Times, Chronicle, and other newspapers, a full page ad from the people of of Ecuador standing in solidarity with the protesters today. It was such a beautiful statement, a beautiful touching statement as I opened up the newspaper this morning to see this, to, to show that this is not just a Richmond struggle, this is not just a protest for California, the Bay Area, this is an international struggle. And I am just, it warmed my heart, and I thank the people of, Rich, of Ecuador for standing with us, the people of Richmond. And we follow their lead because we just filed a lawsuit against Chevron morning, yesterday. Everybody. I think this sends a powerful message to Chevron. The people of Ecuador stand with the people of Richmond and other people throughout the country, uh, the U.S. This is an international struggle and to have the people of Ecuador join us by way of this uh, full page ad they took out in the newspapers today is just a powerful statement and Chevron will know and must know that we are serious. You were talking about the, the city of Richmond is suing Chevron. Talk a little bit about that. Yes, yesterday the city of Richmond filed suit against Chevron for damages from the August 6th fire last year. Um, the, the damages to our community, the health, the well-being, the safety of our community is something that has to be responded to in a, in a serious way. That is what the city of Richmond is doing. We believe the transparency of a public courtroom is the way to go forward. And um, we are really totally serious in making sure this kind of incident that occurred, this explosion and fire that occurred last year, does not happen again. Our community is totally united, our council is united in really making sure and holding Chevron accountable that it does not happen again. It is said that time heals all wounds, but not this time. It does not. The, you know, they have had, Chevron has had over a dozen incidents in the city of Richmond from their refinery over the last 20 years. That's that's almost one, that's more than one incident every couple of years. We are, we are now doing things on Richmond's timetable and they are, it's essential to the health and well-being of our community that Chevron understand that we're very serious and we're going forward in a step-by-step -step way uh, with this lawsuit and with the community at large, including the international community, the people of Ecuador and others, in making sure they hear us. Thank you very much for your time and best of luck. Thank you.